Hi, I'm Steve Rushton. I was the local facilitator for Cities for Change. I've been asked to speak about Britain and municipalism. Municipal socialism is one tradition, Preston's model a focal point, pushing economics based on cooperatives and local procurement. However, academic Matthew Thompson asks, is this municipalism, as it is politics for the many instead of by the many? In contrast, many social movements share municipalist traits but don't self-define as such. For example, organising locally, ground up, intersectional and internationalist, pushing the rights of the city and so on. Britain is a highly centralised, greatly dysfunctional and ever more draconian state, although municipalist journeys are underway. One strong constellation of projects grows in small towns and rural places, dubbed flat pack democracy, including in Froome, Buckfastley and Torridge, with more success in recent local elections like Open Hexham. Frequently, something like austerity is the last straw. A group of people converge, go on to win the election and change how local politics is done. These places may seem idyllic, but many here face severe economic situations, with even less access to the decimated UK welfare system compared to big cities. In the cities, there are also take-back-the-city-style movements, including SANE, who are in the collaborative process of creating a People's Plan for Glasgow, Beacon, Cast, with many new movements emerging. Much of this energy also comes from the anti-austerity struggles. Whilst the COVID pandemic deepens social crisis, it catalyzes the growth of mutual aid groups, such as the Cooperation Town Network, inspired by Cooperation Jackson. So what next? Hopefully municipalism continues to flourish and network. These islands plagued by inequality and injustice need it.